and that's <clears throat> that's our coaches having the utmost confidence in us. And when they call a play, whatever the case is, whatever the look is, it's our job as players to execute. So I have no issue with it. Um, but at the end of the day, man, it's our job to get in the end zone, you know. Um, and uh, we gotta we gotta perfect those things. Well, what, what's a uh, better voice in the locker room say after a couple of these now that you guys have endured at home? Uh, number one, you know, it's an early season. You know, nothing is right written in stone. Um, you know, obviously, you know, hats off to Buffalo Bills. They played a, a, a great game, and um, you know, they won. Um, but you know we got a t we got a tough task next week. We got somebody in the division that's coming coming into our house, and that's the Cincinnati Bengals, and they're coming off a great win um, on that Thursday night game. So you know um, that's that's our next step is, is Cincinnati. You know that that means a lot more because it's in division. So it's our job to go uh, prepare ourselves, look ourselves in the mirror, um, see what we did good, see what we did bad um, as individuals, and come to, come in next week and uh, and correct those things. Hey Morgan, um, I know right now people are going to cultural differences. Your last stop was in New York, and before that, you were with the Commanders for a long time. Uh, they've been in the news a lot. Can you speak on the cultural differences between that organization and this one playing for it right now? Uh, I'm not going to get into that. Um, you know, I'm a Raven all, all, all through. You know, um, so you know that was the past. That was then. Um, I'm here now. So, um, yeah. I know that he's on the other side of the line, but Daniel Palalele. What did you see from him in the week of preparation and from him? I told him in the locker room after the game, I said, what he's done in the last two weeks as a rookie is un un unheard of. Um, the way he's pre prepared, his preparation, being coachable, um, and coming in hostile, uh, you know, a hostile environment. You know, last week he played, he came in, you know, um, in the Patriots on the away game. It's a silent count, you know. Wasn't pretty at first, but he grew as the game went. And then he got to start this week. Um, and that's what you ask for rookies. You know, that's what you ask for anybody that's not a starter is to prepare themselves like they're a starter. So when they get that opportunity, they can they can thrive in that opportunity. And I think he's doing a great job doing that. What, what do you feel in, in the two losses where you've had the big leads, Miami games or Phoenix? What has happened in the second half with the offense? Because in the first half it seemed like almost unstoppable. Yep. And in the second half, a little bit of a struggle. Finish. Finish. Simple. Um, we got to finish. Uh, you know, we can't come out a second half and and not move the ball five yards. Um, you know, when you come out in the second half and you get the ball first, you got to make movement. You got to make that defense feel you. Um, and we didn't do that as players. You know, um, it's our job to go out there and execute, and whether it's rain, sleet, or snow. It doesn't matter. Um, and we got to be we got to be better at that. You know, I think um, I think as a collective group, we know that. You know, um, and so especially coming into next week, you know, got that Sunday night game against Cincinnati. That's a defense that thrives on mistakes. That's a defense that thrives on um, competition. So um, it's for us to bring bring our competition, our best competition on Sunday and get ready for that. Do you go away from the running game? It looked like you guys were running up the middle with Dobbins, with the uh, pulling with and so forth. Why do you, you guys seem to go away from it in the second half? Um, I have no idea. You know, at the end of the day, man, this is our offense, man. We have a beautiful offense where you can, you know, we're running the ball one time and then Lamar's taking, he's running the ball. You got J.K. Dimes, you got motions, you got Mark Andrews. It's a lot of things that go into this offense, man. Um, and, 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 and obviously when you got great players that, that can perform at a high level like Mark Andrews and those guys, um, you know, you got to spread the ball out. So whether we're running the ball or passing the ball, we're elite in both in both categories. And so we just got to find ways, ways to finish. You know, um, I look at that drive. We started at the five-yard line and took it all the way down. You got to finish. There's no, no, there's no other answer. You got to finish. You go 95 yards, you got to finish at the end, in the end zone. And that's on us as players. We got to find a way to get that extra yard. You're welcome. Thank you, Gordon. Yep. Thank you. Lamar in the, in the locker room.